shy. Imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine the humiliation. Just imagine the humiliation. Just imagine the way this lady is feeling right now. Just imagine. Oh my goodness. They have so humiliated this lady. They have they have they have humiliated her to the point that she has no option than to accept this marriage proposal. Because looking at this particular video, you will believe with me that this girl is doing this thing or was doing this thing against her wish. She never bargained for this kind of arrangement. Looking at her very well, you will understand that this lady is, is, is passing through emotional trauma, through pain. This was not part of the agreement. This was not part of what she signed for when she got married in the first place. They have humiliated her. They have cajoled her into accepting what is against her will and her wish. Have you seen that? This is the problem we have. And this is what we speak against. This is why you should know when to stop as a woman. You should know when to pack, gather the pieces of your life and leave. So that you will not live a life of regrets, sorrow, bitterness, rancor. So that you will not go and buy before your time. Because seeing this lady now, she's not ever going to be happy in her life again. This is the worst thing any man can do to a woman. Doing things like this against that woman's wish is not her, it's not her wish. You have seen it here that clearly she no wants. But all those old cargoes seated around there, all those kinsmen, all those, all those aunties, old aunties, village aunties, village uncles, they have all gathered to cajole her into accepting this kind of, this kind of union. They have tampered with her, with her, with her, with her ego as a woman. They have tampered with everything that makes this girl a proud woman. The earlier you stop things like this, the better for you. Marriage is not a do or die. You don't tolerate everything because you want to stay married. Your happiness comes first in everything. Your happiness comes first. That situation that will make you always be sober, always be angry with yourself, don't even stay around such people. Try to stay away from negative people, from people that will always make you to feel bad. Because once you buy, your own has ended. It is very obvious that this lady does not want, she no want, this whole arrangement was forced, was put to her. She was forced to accept this. Imagine a beautiful woman like this. Then, looking at this, the second wife that is coming to take over. You will believe with me that she's already pregnant. If you be woman, we get I. You go no say that woman don't carry belly already. She's pregnant, and maybe because of the pregnancy now, they have to force this woman to accept her. Even the humiliation of accepting her, like showing her, oh God of mercy, there are certain things you don't take because you want to stay married. There are certain bullshit you do not take from men because you want to stay married. Once your respect, once your ego is being tampered with, stay away. You can't subject yourself to, humili to humiliation because you want to stay or you want to continue to answer Mrs. Mrs. who? Now, who are you going to answer Mrs.? Now, with this arrangement, now this woman is going to be, she's not ever going to be happy all the days of her life. Then why stay in this kind of, in this kind of, in this kind of environment, why stay in a place where you are not okay? You can't sleep with your two eyes closed. You cannot even have your own life to live. You will still be living with fear. You will still be living with fear. Those old cargoes will come and convince you, yes, so, uh, it has happened. Uh, my daughter, you did well. Oh. You are a good wife, we know. Yeah, we know. But, you know, it's, 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 it's the man's word. Uh, men, uh, men are polygamous in nature. A, a man is entitled to as many wives as possible. A man is do this, a man is that. 
you know so it has happened it has happened uh, uh, love your neighbor as yourself uh, this woman now uh, it, it, it was an accident uh, uh, unfortunately as a man now you know men and they are this and something happened along the way and this other one now is pregnant please we want to beg you to accept we know you will accept it you cannot you can't reject our offer you can't neglect us with the elders no 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 we know you will accept it and the woman will maliciously, stupidiously accept then her life becomes miserable her life her entire life everything about her will change why remain in this kind of you know why can't you back off why can't you stay away why must you remain in this kind of you know because it is obvious you are not happy then what will you be doing in this kind of arrangement the second wife is not even looking more beautiful than you are she's not even more better than you so why allow yourself when I tell you people sometimes men do not have reason for getting into polygamy, some of you do not understand. Some of them go into this polygamy because of their selfish reason. Some of them, when they make mistakes, they want you to take the responsibility of their mistakes. Because it is a man's word. You go and impregnate a woman, then you force her to, to, to you force me to accept a woman that I something I know nothing about. One day you will remain with that person. Unless my happiness is guaranteed, unless my happiness is not, no, nobody is going to touch it. But looking at this particular arrangement, ha, it, no, there's nothing anybody is going to tell me. This woman is not ever going to be happy in this marriage. She's not ever going to be happy. Then the one that is coming, you do not even know the kind of evil woman being that she is. Before you know it, jazz. They begin to they do who go win who. They begin to they do favoritism. You begin to do past your level, past yourself, because you want to impress. Before you know it, it's a competition. You begin to try to impress one kind of yeah, yeah, human being that is somewhere. Competition will start, just we start flying left, right, and center. At the end of the day, when this man will buy, dragging of property will start. Because most of you do not plan yourself well before entering into polygamy. Now, when on a on a all I know if you stay one place, one I don't use and play uh, play around, play play play. When you think who could now, you people want a woman to accept you in your lowest of lowest. Then at the end of the day, you have caused problem for this woman and her children. In near future, she will start to drag property with somebody. She will start to drag things with somebody that she's not that something that she never planned, never bargained, never never in her life, in her entire life, planned her life that is gonna be like this. Most of you men do not plan yourself well. When I go, just jump into polygamy. In the olden days, once they marry you, they settle you, give you land, give you property, you and your kids. If the man eventually died, nobody's going to drag anything with anybody. But the men of these days, they don't know all these things. All they know is to jump into polygamy and start knocking women. That is the only mentality they have. If I knock this one this night, tomorrow I knock this one, next tomorrow I knock this one. That is the only thing they know. They do not plan it well. They don't even know the repercussion. They don't even plan against the repercussion. They don't. They only think about the knocking at that moment. What are going to be the, what are going to be enjoying at that point in time? Subjecting women to ridicule and so many, so many, so many bad things. May God help you people. As a woman, wise up. You don't take every shit because you want to answer me, sis. You all should learn to stand for yourselves. Stand for yourself with your two legs. If you are not comfortable with anything polygamy, you back off. They don't tie you up, say you must answer me sis before you become a somebody or become before you become reasonable or before before you be able to contribute in the society. You don't take some of this nonsense they, 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 they force you to take. Now, because of one these men, they do some of these things. If they see women are not taking it, before you go into this kind of thing, it must be proper. This whole video is getting me more angry. Like the way they were forcing her. Habba, who does that?